Okay, so if you like free, awesome illustrations and you like auto animating in Adobe XD, then this video is for you. Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a site that has a ton of awesome free illustrations you can download and use in your own projects. But I'm also gonna show you how you can animate these with AutoAnimate in XD. So without further ado, let's jump to the screen and get started. Rightio, so we're now in Adobe XD. I've got a new artboard, iPad size, landscape orientation. First of all, we need to go to the website undraw.co and you'll be greeted with this page here, created by Katerina Limpitsuni. Hopefully I pronounced that right. These are amazing, so thank you, Katerina. So if we click Browse now, you can see there are many, many illustrations, and as you scroll, it will load more. So lots and lots of awesome illustrations. And when you found one that you're happy with, click download and it will download as an SVG format. Now, an SVG file is a scalable vector graphic. So whether you open it in Illustrator or XD, you can open it, you get all the different components and objects of that SVG file, and you can edit them, group them together, which is exactly what we're gonna do in a moment. So I can't find it here, but I've actually downloaded one already. It's definitely there somewhere. And you can see I've got my SVG file here. Can I preview that? There we go. So I've downloaded this one. I'm gonna switch back into XD. And you can just drag this in. We can go up to file and down to import. Either way is absolutely fine. And I'm just gonna scale this down holding shift. And we'll just pop that roughly in the center. Now, if I open my layers panel here, let's just bring that in a little bit. You can see I have a folder and lots and lots of pieces. Now we need to clean this up. So first of all, I'm gonna select the folder, go to object and ungroup, or if you're on Windows, just right click on the folder and you've got your group and ungroup options there. So I'm gonna be animating this with different components coming in from all different sides, but first of all, we need to clean this up. So if I zoom in here, you can see we have the lamppost. We've got all the different components. So you get full control, which is fantastic, but we want to group this together as one. Now we can select these components that are all the same color by holding shift and clicking, and then use this option here, which will add them together, and it combines them into a single shape layer here. You can see union one, and I can move them around. Another way of doing this is just by dragging over everything. You can see all the layers become selected over here in the layers panel. And I'll just grab the bottom. Have I got everything? Yes, and then I can right click and group, and I'll just call this lamppost. I think that's how you spell lamppost. Oh dear, I'll have to check afterwards. So we've got the lamppost here, and what I can do is then hide this, and then I can select the subject, and just hold shift and click on anything that I didn't mean to capture by mistake. Right click, select group. We can call this subject. There we go. We've got this one on the floor, so that's the shadow. We've got this one here. So I'm gonna use shortcuts now to group these together. And we'll call this uh, chat box. <laughs> there we go, that'll do. We've got this gray thing behind. I don't know what that is. We'll call it gray thing. And if I drag over everything, I'll just hold shift and select the chat box and the gray thing and then I can just group everything else together and we'll just call this everything else. So I've got all these different elements and I can turn them off and back on. Now I've grouped them together, this is gonna make everything much easier. So we'll just call this artboard number one and then I can press Command or Control D on the keyboard to duplicate this. So now I've grouped everything together, I can go and auto animate. So let's go up to prototype mode and you could click on a specific object. I'm just going to link these by artboard. So we'll link this over to this one. The trigger is a tap, so you can click anywhere on the artboard. An auto animate transition. And we'll set the easing to ease in out. And we'll give it a duration of 
0.6 seconds. And if you'd like to learn why I'm doing the auto animate and setting that up on the artboards now, before moving things around and off the artboard, there's a video linked up here that you absolutely must watch. It's like a little trick to stop things from disappearing when you drag them off the artboard. So definitely worth a watch. So you can see I have these two artboards now linked together with an auto animate. We'll just call that one number two. And I'm gonna link this one back and it remembers those same auto animate settings. So now I've created that auto animate, I can go back into design mode. And because it's set up to auto animate, I can now drag objects off the artboard. And what it will do is it will keep them as part of that artboard. So you just click on an object on the artboard and it will show you that they're out here. Otherwise, and you'll see in that video, if you move them off the artboard with no auto animate transition set up, it moves them onto the pasteboard. So what we're gonna do now is now I've set up the transition, I can just move these objects out. So we'll have the lamppost there. We'll move the shadow over here and I'm just dropping the opacity. So all of these objects are gonna fade in. She's going up there and she's gonna come down from the top. The chat box is gonna come in from the right. So I'm just moving this over to the right, bringing that opacity down. And we'll have this gray thing come up from the bottom. And whatever this thing here is, the flower cake we'll call it, that's gonna come in from the top. So you don't have to reduce the opacity, but because I have, they're all gonna fade in from all different directions. It's gonna look pretty cool. So what we can do now is click play. And we have this lovely window pop up and I can just click anywhere and it will play the auto animation. And you can see they come in and they come back out. So there's a look at undraw.co where you can download these free awesome illustrations, but also how you can get them into XD and then start animating them. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please do drop them down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.